So we got a package from Click Clack and um, looks like a keyboard, so let's check it out. So this is the Vintage 60S by G Square Studio. So we got a polycarbonate plate and also a FR4 plate, which I'm probably gonna end up using the FR4 plate for this build. The kit also comes with PCB foam and also PE foam if you guys wanna use that. And here I got the hot swap PCB and it looks like we got the 75% layout for this one. And we also got flex cuts in this PCB as well. And this is where you could toggle the solenoid valve on the PCB or change it to the buzzer. And here you guys see, this is a very, very chunky looking board, but it has that vintage look with the typewriter look. And I'm actually a really, really huge fan of it. And I love this gold accent that's on top. So here's the side profile. And as you can see, you can see the cutouts on the side. And this is where the sound is gonna travel from for the solenoid valve. And I really like the front lip of this keyboard. It has a nice slant in there. You don't really see that in many keyboards. And in the back, you have the Vintage 60 badge, which is really, really nice. And in the back, you can see the gold badge and it says designed by G Studio. And we're gonna be building the Vintage 60 with these V1 switches by Vertex Studios. And these are gonna be lubed and you can actually purchase them unlubed if you want. And I'll post out all the specs for you guys to see on the screen so I don't have to read it all out for you guys. So the top and bottom housing is made out of nylon and the stem is gonna be a palm material. And these switches are gonna cost 30 cents per switch, which is really, really nice deal. And for being factory lube, they actually feel really, really nice and smooth. And I know sometimes factory lube can feel either really, really spotty or really, really mushy. So this, these actually feel really, really nice. keyboard actually has a really cool feature. It could actually mimic a beam spring keyboard or it also could have this buzzing sound as you type. So here, let me show you guys how it sounds. I know this feature can be really annoying to a lot of people. So if you wanna turn it off, you can press the function and Z key and it'll turn it right off, see? And if you guys want to turn it back on, you can press the function and X and turn it back on and go to town. And if you guys are having trouble with the solenoid valve and it's not coming through or it's actually kind of delayed, make sure you guys are plugging your USB directly into the computer because it actually needs a lot of power for it to work. So let me show you guys a sound test without the solenoid valve on and see how the board sounds. So there's gonna be three different editions, the standard edition, special edition, and copper edition. And there's a bunch of color options that you guys can choose from, and as well as different badge designs. And for this keyboard, it's gonna be a combination of top mount and gasket mount at the same time. There's these special O-rings for cushioning, but the silicon O-rings provide a gasket feel, so it's gonna be very, very flexible. And if you guys don't like flex cuts in your PCB or your plate, you're gonna have an option to not get any of those cuts. And for PCB layouts, you're gonna have two different options. You can have the 75% option or you can have a 65% option. So that's what's really cool about this keyboard. You could have it as a 65% keyboard or 75% keyboard. You just have to purchase additional cover pieces to cover those portions of the board. So the standard edition is going to cost $385. The special edition is going to start at $425 and the full copper edition is going to start at 1.8k. So if you guys are interested in joining the group buy for the Vintage 60, go check out Click Clack because they're going to be hosting the group buy on June 10th. And as of right now, it's going to be an unlimited group buy, but make sure to join Click Clack's Discord for more information. That's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoy this video. What do you guys think of this keyboard? To me, honestly, this is actually one of the more interesting keyboards that's come out so far and I'm really, really excited for it. And honestly, I can't wait for what G Studio has more in store. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out guys.